Vegan Booty, aka Tash Peterson, is bad for veganism. I'm sorry, but she's crossed the line this time. In today's Face the Facts Friday video, we're going to take a look at what happened and some other interesting stories. And I'll be responding to some of the dumbest comments I've seen this week right at the end of the video. So stick around for that. No one cares. Clearly you care, mate. You left a comment. Let me know you're ready to start the video by hitting the like button. And let's talk about Vegan Booty. Vegan Booty has just gone way too far this time. She's stormed onto a foot football field during a game, but that's not the thing I've got a problem with. She's been out protesting in her knickers. That's not my problem either. She's covered herself in period blood for a protest, but that's also not the problem because what she's done now is something so ridiculous, so outrageous that it just puts those other things to shame. What has she done? She said people should stop calling animals it because it devalues and objectifies them. And look, I totally agree with the headline, obviously. This is bizarre. Calling an animal it doesn't devalue or objectify them. It's just what we say when we don't know someone's gender or we don't want to assume their gender because we don't want to commit an act of literal violence against them. That's why non-binary people are really happy to be called it. It's why a trans person who isn't sure how they want to be referred to is happy to be called it. Hey, is it coming over today? Hey, it is. See, it doesn't devalue or objectify someone to call them it. If anything, it gives them more value. I call my camera it and that's worth like $5,000. Are you going to try and tell me the Adams family were trying to devalue or objectify their cousin? Their own cousin? They loved cousin it. Loads of people use the pronoun it, it's. It's a totally valid way of describing someone. It definitely doesn't make it easier for people to discriminate or abuse them by giving them the same social status as a lamp. What is vegan booty even fighting for, really? It's not like animals are being openly tortured in public, caught and skinned alive for some big show where the whole town gathers round to enjoy brutally abusing them because it's their culture or it puts their town on the map. It gives them a sense of Place. Every time I visit a new country, I get this urge to destabilize the government and make it a part of the empire. But there's just some cultures you leave in the past, right? Things like that never happen these days because we've left these violent cultures in the past where they belong. It's just vegan loonies like Tash Peterson who claim it does still exist. And it's definitely not farmers who get to decide what is or isn't animal cruelty. And it's not like entire legal systems are based on their opinions on that. That'd be like racists deciding what is or isn't racist. Or sexists deciding what is or isn't sexist. Or it'd be like Hollywood deciding what is or isn't pedophilia. Yeah. There's just no way people would allow farmers to decide that when they're the ones doing the cruelty. Come on, it's ridiculous. I've seen Vegan Booty and other activists saying things like, animal farming will cause the next pandemic and millions of animals are dying from viruses in farms. Yeah, sure, because that's really happening. And who ever heard of a virus going from animals to humans? This is just more crazy vegan propaganda, obviously. And anyway, do you even know what would happen if the whole world went vegan? Vegan Booty. This new study tells us all about it. It says animals would take over and the human human race would become slaves. Cows would breed us and kill us to feed to their carnivorous pets like cats. The chickens would take our unborn babies and bake them into cakes and omelets. Dogs would make us play fetch until we couldn't throw one more stick. And the first one to stop throwing sticks would get eaten alive in some sick squid game style show, all just for their entertainment. Is that the world you want, vegan booty? Is this what you want to happen, really? The study also says that if the world went vegan, it would remove 100 billion tons of carbon dioxide in the earth by the end of the century. But who cares about that shit? The animals would take over and we'd all be slaves. Tash doesn't even care about the most oppressed people in our society and the struggles they have to face. I'm sick of seeing them being pushed to the back by people like Vegan Booty, like Tash Peterson. It's time someone stood up for these people and I'm happy to say there is one company that's giving these people the support they deserve. Finally, after 17 years of exclusively making vegan ice cream, the Coconut Bliss Ice Cream Company has finally decided to create an ice cream for non-vegans. Thank God someone is finally catering to non-vegans and giving them an option for ice cream at the supermarket. Thank you so much, Coconut Bliss, and shame on you, Vegan Booty, for not supporting these poor non-vegans with such limited choices for ice cream. Tell me, Tash, do you think you or any of these vegan activists are making a difference? Almost half of the people in Britain couldn't even imagine imagine ditching meat, which means nearly half of them actually could imagine ditching meat, but that's not the point. And also 69% grow up 
69% of UK parents support introducing more vegan meals in schools. Obviously, you and these vegoons aren't getting through to that 21% of people. Such a fail. And it's not like Burger King is just going to open a fully vegan restaurant or anything. You're never going to change these huge multinational corporations like that, Tash. Vegans like Vegan Booty clearly aren't changing anything. Clearly. So Tash, Vegan Booty, and all of you lame vegan YouTubers and activists, keep on doing what you're doing, you fucking legends. Now it's time to respond to some of the dumbest comments I've seen this week in our Meat Plagues of the Week. Who cares? They're fucking animals. Oh no, one million cows died. No, cows will go extinct. It's totally okay to not care about animals if you're a selfish cunt. Noob reporting you. Thanks, noob. While this video, I eat bacon with beef and drinking cow stolen milk. How did you get a cow to steal the milk? No one cares. Clearly you care, mate. You left a comment. I love animals, but I still eat meat. This opinion is stupid. You're right. That is a stupid opinion. If you eat meat, it doesn't mean you dislike or hate or abuse animals. <laughs> kind of does, mate. It does. Yeah. I guess you aren't friends with the many farmers. Do you think because you don't like animal husbandry that hundreds of millions should stop because you feel uncomfortable? Oh no, no, not at all. I don't think they should all stop because I feel uncomfortable. I think it should all stop because the animals are definitely feeling uncomfortable, mate. A little bit more than uncomfortable. They're literally getting killed. You know? Opinions are opinions. You can't say people are bad people for opinions. Like, what? Oh, totally, yeah. Mein Kampf was just a load of opinions at the end of the day. You, you can't say Hitler was a bad person for that. The world is but a mirror, David. You are all the comments you attract, as that is truly who you are. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, right. So when people comment saying that they hope I get killed or die, that's just me attracting that, and that's who I really am. I, I should be dead. Fucking spiritual numpty. Mate is good, trust me. Mm, I don't know, man. I'm not convinced. Brits. <laughs> no, I agree. I don't like the Brits either. These music awards are so rigged anyway. Lol, I just love paid actors like you. I do some acting, but let me tell you, I'm not paid. David, change your career. No. Are you using the famous to get views? You are exposed. No, 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 not exposed. That's, that's actually what I'm doing. I'm, I've never tried to hide that. You're something else. Ridiculous. Oh, thanks. It. Regularly call my cat it or thing. Wow, you must really love that cat, Jack. Can someone... Check in on Jack's cat, please. I love steak. <laughs> Pseudoscientific claims that plants suffer. I mean, come on, man, you are embarrassing yourself. Before you charge someone with these accusations, get your facts straight. There are studies that shows that if you come close to a plant with scissors, they tend to scream, not like you and me, but scream in a chemical way so that they can tell other plants. Someone's been watching too much, Sad Guru. <laughs> Do you have stories or ideas for videos that you want to share? I get a lot of these stories and ideas for videos from the comments section. So get down there and let me know what you thought of this video and make sure to tell me what you want to see next. I promise I'll read it. Maybe I'll respond and who knows, maybe I'll make the video that you suggest. Keep calling out that bullshit and I'll see you all in the next video.